hello everyone welcome to radial cases tutorial today we are going to discuss ultrasound of kidney and uh, in this video we will just discuss the cystic diseases that are found in the kidney and often seen in the ultrasound the central renal sinus is composed of the fibrofibrous tissues that appears echogenic in the sonogram the cortical echogenicity of the kidney should be equal to or slightly less than that of the liver and substantially less than that of the spleen. In the adult, the average length of the kidney is approximately 10.5 to 11 cm and the lower limit is about 9 cm and its upper limit is about 13 cm. Now this is the normal kidney in a patient. This is the longitudinal view of the kidney from the anterior lateral approach and it shows the central echogenic renal sinuses and a peripheral hypoechoic cortex that is slightly less echogenic than the adjacent liver and between the sinuses and the cortex are the several hypoechoic pyramids and uh, the kidney appears as a flat word structure from the anterior approach and this one is the high resolution view that shows the urine and the collecting system with the infundibulum this structure is called infundibulum and two calyxes and their corresponding pyramids are also realized here. These are the calyxes and these are the two pyramids that are realized in the sonogram. Now we are going to discuss the urinary obstruction. About 5% of the patients with the renal failure suffer from the urinary obstruction. The mild hydronephrosis or grade 1 hydronephrosis refers to the minimal amount of the urine that is producing the slight distension in the collecting system. Now in this sonogram we can see the normal renal parenchyma that is adjacent to the liver and uh, here the grade 1 adenophrosis is seen as it just causes the slight distension of the collecting system. Now this one is the grade 2 or moderate adenophrosis that refers to the dilatation of the collecting system that is readily evident but is not associated with the cortical thinning and here we can see that cortex of the kidney is uh, almost normal and it does not cause the cortical thinning of the kidney and here we can see that this one is the grade 3 or severe hypnophrosis that refers to the severe dilatation and is associated with the cortical thinning and here we can see that cortical thinning is markedly decreased that is very less than the common cortical thickness of the kidney. Now in this sonogram we can see the obstruction that is causing the hypnophrosis in the kidney and this obstruction is due to the bladder cancer. This is the longitudinal view of the bladder that shows a mass at the bladder base that is obstructing the vesico ureteric junction. It causes the hypnophrosis in this kidney. Now in this sonogram we can see the hypnophrosis in this uh, kidney and it is due to the enlarged bladder. The bladder was adequately filled and uh, this is the post vital view that shows almost complete resolution of the hypnophrosis after excretion of the urine. Now this is very interesting case that is showing the prominent renal veins simulating the hypnophrosis and uh, this one is the longitudinal view that shows the mild separation of the central sinuses by anechoic branching structures Although the branching pattern is slightly different from the collecting system, but this appearance is easy to confuse with the hydronephrosis. And this is the color Doppler view that confirms that these are the prominent vessels rather than the collecting system. Now we are going to discuss the pyonephrosis. Pyonephrosis refers to the obstructed and the infected collecting system. In some cases, the echogenic pus can be seen filling the collecting system or layering in the dependent portion of the collecting system. Now this is sonogram of the pyonephrosis. This is the longitudinal view that shows the moderate hydronephrosis with ecogenic material that is filling the collecting system. And uh, here we can also see that uh, there is ecogenic debrinous content throughout the renal collecting system that is consistent with the infection that is the pyonephrosis. Now we are going to discuss the renal cysts. The accumulation of fluid in the thin membrane of the kidney is uh, called the renal cyst and uh, here we can see that uh, this is the simple cyst. On ultrasound the cysts show the characteristics like uh, an equic lumen well defined back wall 
acoustic enhancement deep to the lion and no variable wall thickness and all these qualities are seen here as this is rounding structure that is anukic and uh, here it can show the acoustic enhancement and its wall thickness is also normal so this cyst is present at the upper pole of the kidney and uh, this is a simple cortical cyst and here we can see that uh, a small cyst is also present and it has uh, an equilibrium back wall enhancement that was seen as in the large cyst now we're going to discuss another cyst types that is the hemorrhagic cysts and cysts are complicated by the intra luminal hemorrhage that occurs approximately 5% of the time the hemorrhage may cause the diffuse low level internal echos fibrinous membranes internal echogenic clots or fluid debrinous content and this is the case of hemorrhagic cyst in a patient this is a cyst with diffuse homogeneous low level internal echos due to the cellular material that is floating in its lumen and it is showing the acoustic enhancement now in this case we can see a cyst with low level echos and uh, irregular hyperuric solid material and the lumen of the cyst it is rounded in structure but showing acoustic enhancement and this appearance is uh, simulating like a cystic renal cell carcinoma now we are going to discuss another type of cyst that is milk of calcium cyst and uh, the crystalline material can accumulate in the cyst and produce the shadowing echogenic material that may or may not layer in the dependent aspect of the lumen this is a transverse view that shows the echogenic lesion in the renal cortex and this cyst is too small to resolve and effluid and all that is seen is the bright reflections from the crystals and this is a transverse view that shows the cystic structure with its an equic lumen but showing a highly echogenic partially shedding crystalline material in its dependent aspect this is the milk of calcium cyst now we are going to discuss another type of cyst that is the peripelvic cyst and these cysts are mostly formed in the renal sinuses and these cysts are probably the lymphatic in origin and they are frequently multiple and uh, may be bilateral and they are important primarily because they can be confused with the hydronephrosis and uh, here we can see that a single cyst is located within the renal sinus that is simulating the hydronephrosis but here we can see the multiple peripelvic cysts some of which have assumed to be rounded oval shaped configuration and have uh, started to extend into the renal hilum and uh, when this happens the appearance can be confused with the hydronephrosis now we are going to discuss the autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease the most common conspicuous sonographic feature of the autosomal dominant polycystic disease is the presence of multiple variable sized cortical and the medullary based cysts in the kidneys the detectable calcification may also be located in the walls of the cysts in addition the crystals frequently form in the cyst and produces the cometal artifact now in this sonogram we can see the multiple rounded cysts with normal sized kidney that measures about 12.5 cm now in this sonogram we can see the multiple cysts and a solid clot is present in one of these cysts and this is a common and should not be confused with the neoplasm unless there are the worrisome features on other modalities like the ct scan or the mri and unless there is a detectable vascularity on the color doppler now we are going to discuss the acquired cystic disease the multiple renal cysts develop in the patient on the long term dialysis the cysts vary in size and are usually seen in the setting of the small echogenic kidney now in this sonogram we can see the multiple cysts in the kidney that is slightly enlarged that measures about 14.3 cm and it is very unusual for the acquired cystic disease to cause the renal enlargement and when it happens it can simulate the polycystic kidney disease now in this sonogram we can see the multiple cyst as well as a solid mass due to the renal cell carcinoma now we are going to discuss another cystic disease that is the tuberous sclerosis tuberous sclerosis is a multi system disorder that is associated with the formation of renal cysts and uh, neoplasm and in this case we can see 
the oblique view of the right kidney that shows multiple hyperechoic masses due to the multifocal angiomyolipoma mass and this is another sonogram that shows the right renal heterogeneous hyperechoic lesion that is rounded and uh, this is suggestive of angiomyolipomas or tuberous sclerosis